Hi folks, Anders here and welcome to another video and seen as my last um, what's in my government issue food box video from last week was so popular I thought I would um, do another one today and I've got a box just here. Um, today I'm also going to be having a bit of a chat about um, ugh, living in shielding of course. Um, Talking about ulcerative colitis, spell disease, um, which is why I'm shielded in the first place. <coughs> and, um, yeah, mental health as well, because, um, yeah. <coughs> and, um, yeah, um, I'm not well at the moment, unfortunately. My bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, is actually fine, um, and I'm still in remission, which is brilliant and wonderful. Um, but... The trade-off to that is because of a medication that I'm on, which is what makes me shielded, um, which is I have to take um, injections every two weeks, which are immunosuppressants to stop my stomach from killing me, um, also makes me incredibly prone to infections and things like that. And I have had, for going on six weeks now, a horrible cough, chest infection after chest infection, and I haven't been able to shift it. Um, and now the worry is that... Um, the only way that I can realistically stop and well, heal up my chest a little bit better is by stopping my um, injections, which keep me in remission. And it's a worry because it's a trade-off. It's like, <clears throat> I don't want to be poodly with my chest. And it is getting better, don't get me wrong, but it's still not great. Um, and then there's a massive risk of like pneumonia and TB and pleurisy and all those kind of things. Um, but it's weighing up the odds, as in, you know, do I carry on fighting the chest infection, having more antibiotics and antibiotics, and then back on steroids again at the moment, for it, which I hate, um, or stopping the um, injections? I mean, this is all um, conjecture at the moment, and I have spoke to medical practitioners. I'm not asking for advice on that. I'm just talking about my dilemma with this situation. Um, in that if I stop my injections, then I'll have a flare-up, I will be as poorly as I was last year, potentially end up in hospital with that, potentially catch coronavirus, um, and potentially die, because that's the reality of being immunosuppressed. <clears throat> and the risk is if I stop the injections that I'm currently on, then you can't go back onto the same ones because uh, your body builds up an immunity once you stop taking them. So it's a tricky thing, and it's it's <clears throat> it's something that worries me, um, and it does worry me a lot. And um, that's the brutal reality of this: is I can carry on and try and fight with chest infections as best as I can, and hope that that gets better. But if it doesn't, then that could put me in hospital with pneumonia and things like that. Um, whereas if I stop the uh, immunosuppressants, which causes me to have the chest infections, then that could also put me in hospital with my bowel disease, and also have a potential to catch coronavirus, and, yeah. So, yeah, so that is my dilemma. <clears throat> and that has been weighing on my mind for <clears throat> a couple of weeks now, <clears throat> whilst I've been um, trying to fight off these infections, and it's not fun. Um, and I'm trying to be uh, put a positive take on things. And my chest is better. It is better than it was, but it's still not great. And my asthma's better because I'm back on steroids. But I'm still coughing up loads of green phlegm, which is disgusting. And obviously that is a chest infection. And, you know, that's why I've been prescribed antibiotics for it. Um, and it takes a toll on your mental health when you're worried about, you know, when you are shielded, when you, you know, have letters. And I mean, I've had... Yeah, I have my letter here. This is my shielded letter. Yeah. Um, and... You know, in this turbulent time, if, if this was a normal time and, you know, yeah, if this was a normal time of year, I wouldn't be worried. You know, it'd just be, ah, well. But because coronavirus is going out around, you know, it is, you know, that's why you have these shielded letters and that's why you are extremely vulnerable and, yeah. So that's my dilemma, and like I say, it's taken a toll on my mental health, which is not great. And the fact that I'm back on steroids again makes my anxiety worse, because I bloody hate them. Uh, but, yeah. Um, 
and the fact that I'm stuck in, I, I'm an outdoors person, this whole channel, the whole point of my YouTube channel is, you know, it's adventures with Anders, and it's me going hiking and adventuring and stuff like that, and I'm not able to do it, and being stuck in is really shit, I mean, I've not been out, I've been out when I really shouldn't have been out a couple of times, I dropped off some food at my mum's the other day, um, and did stay talking to her on my drive, didn't go in, social distancing, I took hand gel with me, so I didn't even contact my mum, I just dropped off some stuff in my car and got back in my car, um, but yeah, I'm missing, I'm missing friends, I'm missing family, um, it sucks, it really, really sucks, and I know for so many other people are going through this, you know, I am not alone, and I don't want to come across that, you know, I'm worse than everybody else, and that's really, really not the case, but, you know, when you have, you know, anxiety issues and that, and then this happens and you're stuck indoors and it's just, it's just bloody horrible. It really, really is awful. Um, but again, I know that, you know, there are people a lot worse off than me and a lot of people are dying from it. And I am grateful that, you know, I am relatively healthy. My family's healthy, you know, my son's safe, my daughter's safe, my wife, well, you know, we're all, all mostly well. And obviously not well, because, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so... And it takes a toll. It's, it's, and it has taken a toll. And I can feel myself declining. And whilst I'm trying to keep busy and trying to stay positive and, you know, yeah, I'm teaching still, so that's good and that gets me occupied. But it's not... It's not fulfilling. And I want to do stuff and I can't. And frustrates me and it makes me angry and it makes me upset and it makes me anxious and it makes me worried and yeah so <clears throat> anyway that's the <clears throat> heart to heart talky kind of crap on the plus side um a friend of mine on facebook who's a friend of a family i've known for years he's been making some lovely lovely masks um and her name's jody and she has made some very very awesome masks and the idea behind them is it's got a little hole in the middle so you can actually put a pop of filter in and it's rainbows and unicorns and it's it's beautiful and wonderful but the only downside is because i've got such a fat face um i need to put some extra elastic on it but you know but they are super super cute and a lot more colorful in real life than they are um on the camera for some reason so yeah so when i actually do get to go out i can go out looking like a a sexy pride unicorn which is cool um so yeah so I'm, I'm happy for that and i'm happy for human kindness because people are wonderful um and following on from having my food parcel last week um i decided to have a bit of a clear out of the cupboards and i got loads of tins of food that i didn't want and stuff so i did donated them to a local food bank um and some other bits and bobs as well. I put some DVDs ready for some uh, for like kids DVDs for because the, they're sending out care packages for little people. And a lady came and collected them, and and she was absolutely lovely. And now I was donating to a food bank for stuff that I had no use for or couldn't eat through diet and whatever. And she bought around loads of food. I mean, it was like you know, it wasn't a lot, but you know, there was some oranges, or some strawberries. Um, oh, some Easter eggs. Oh my God, she dropped off some Easter eggs, and, and I'm, I was so like a proper. I was full on emotional because um, we didn't have any Easter eggs because obviously we were all stuck in, so I couldn't get any Easter eggs. And she dropped off three Easter eggs, one each for like me, my wife, and my daughter. Obviously, I couldn't have one because dairy, milk, bad. But it was just that you know, I'm doing that into a food bank that needs stuff, and yet they're giving me food back and and that really really hit me last week it was like this is lovely it's wonderful but you don't need on sense of a lady you know, again social distancing and all that kind of stuff I said, you don't need to drop anything off me she's like oh no it's fine she said it was because it was all short dates so she said, it was only going to get thrown away in the bin anyway and she said you know you know you, you're donating long life stuff whereas this is like things that would ultimately go to waste and it was like oh. so <clears throat> from that food parcel i donated like the because i don't eat strawberries i don't like them I'm nobody has them. so i went to my mom and things like that so it was just but yeah and human kindness you know is is a great thing um unfortunately there is 
unscrupulous people out there, and I won't go into detail if it's too much, but I needed a new hard drive for my computer and bought them off Spark, paid friends and family through PayPal and got ripped off and they don't work, which is awesome. Um, but then I put a post on a group the other day saying, look, has anybody got a spare hard drive? I've been done over and somebody gave me one, which is really awesome. And again, human kindness. So <clears throat> whilst there are negatives, there are positives. Um, you know, and positives this week, I mean, what have I done? Um, I decorated my utility room wallpapered which I suck at and I did such a good job of it I'm really really pleased um I you know I got to see my mum very briefly I got to see the dog very briefly I know I shouldn't go out because I'm shielded but I had to drop off shopping um, and I was very very safe um and yes yeah, so there are positives and and it's trying to find the, those positives in times of darkness because that's kind of what keeps you going anyway I've waffled on for that 10 minutes, and this is supposed to be an unboxing video, and I haven't unboxed anything, so this is the parcel that came this week, da -da 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 -da. and there's some interesting stuff in there, so let's go through, shall we? Uh, first up, we have, uh, yeah, we, we've got government issue bread, um, right, this bread, when I opened it last week, had got a spider in it so we didn't eat it um i was like i opened it and there's like a little tiny it was only a little money spider but i'm like yeah if that bro's like put a web in there or some eggs in there i'm like yeah. so yeah government issue bread not so fun we have a government issue toilet roll which is like sandpaper on your arse especially when you have bell disease and need softness on your bottom no 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 but again it's loo roll in a, in a desperate situation we're all right for loo roll at the moment thankfully but in a desperate situation yeah we've got some oh, some more porridge and i thoroughly devoured the porridge from last week i really really enjoyed it so happy times we've got oh i'm dropping things okay we've got some oh, digestive biscuits yes Oh no, and these ones have got milk in them. The other digestives I had had some digestives, which is fine because why feel eat them? Uh, we've got some more carrots. Um, and I did enjoy the carrots from last week because we had a big Sunday roast last night with some fresh carrots and fresh taters. Oh, loads and loads of veg. Oh, it's lovely. Um, speaking of, we've got some more potatoes. Um, and they're quite a decent size. Oh, I can have some jackets. Because the ones that came last week were lovely, but they were only tiny taters. Some jacket potatoes, excellent. So we've got some potatoes. My God, there's another giant onion. What is it with like food parcels and giant onions? Jeez, that's a mammoth. Still haven't touched for one from last week, because I don't particularly like onion. I don't hate it. But look at it, that's like, it's the size, well, it's not the size of my head, but that's a freaking huge onion. Uh, we've got, ooh, uh, oh, I've got jelly. Jelly pots, excellent. Are they dairy free? Ingredients, blah, 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 blah. Yes, oh, jelly, jelly, jelly. Oh, yay. I'm excited for jelly. Brilliant. Oh, we've got some little baby oranges. Excellent. Little mandarins. I'm not a huge fan, um, but I like to squeeze them down. We've got long life milk and long life milk. Still not used a lot from last week because I don't have dairy and yeah. We've got some, ooh, we've got some nice shower gel. Excellent. Citrus all and eucalyptus shower gel. Excellent. Oh, that's good because I've pretty much run out of shower gel. Um, yay, cool. We've got some tea bags, which is for wifey, which is good. Oh, we've got some apples. Red delicious as well. Ooh. I have been eating a lot more food because I've actually been out and managed to get some. Uh, we got giant pack of pasta, which we have a lot from last week got used. Um, we got some rice, which is brilliant because I use a lot of rice. We got this is some more coffee, which I don't use because I don't drink caffeine. Got another tin of tuna. Um, oh, look at the ginger bro on it. Hello, fisherman. The nice fisherman tuna chunks in brine. Oh, jolly good. We have a Fray Bentos cheese and onion pie. <laughs> maybe, 
my wife really eats it, but she didn't like pastries. Um, mm, I can't stand it. That may be one to donate to mommy. Um, we've got a couple of tins of beans, which is always good. Um, oh, jeez, more tomatoes. I had tomatoes last week. I don't like tomatoes. Two tins of tomatoes. Um, ooh, a tomato and herb pasta bake. Excellent. So, you could go with that. You could go with the... Um, Pasta, unfortunately it contains lots of milk and cheese and stuff, so I can't have that, but wife and daughter can, which is cool. Thank you. Move it out of the way. And we've got some soup. We've got, oh, at least it's not cream of tomato. Mediterranean tomato ingredients. Water tomatoes, mixed peppers. <gasps> no milk. Excellent. So we've got a couple of tins of soup, three tins of soup. And we have one little thing of vegetable soup, which I haven't used the last one yet, because we're still... Unfortunately, and what else have we got? Uh, emergency food package, blah, 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 blah. We're going along with your weekly box. Now, <coughs> this is the thing. Um, <coughs> this will be the last box that I receive because, <coughs> as I mentioned in the last video, part of um, the whole process of being shielded is you get, well, you get priority slots for supermarkets and food shopping and... Um, we've managed to get a slot for Asda, which is coming on Friday, so it's Monday today. So, and then from there we can have weekly, weekly slots of, um, yeah, um, online shopping. So I won't, so this will be the last one, because again, we're not getting out <clears throat> to do stuff like, you know, shopping and that is a big, big no-mo. I'm shielded, my wife is vulnerable, <clears throat> um, my daughter is not vulnerable, but I um, can't really send a 16 year old to go shopping on her own. Um, and then of course, if she catches in the risk and stuff as well, it is. Um, so, um, so yeah, so, you know, that's the whole point of the shielding thing is because we are, you know, in a, we are a vulnerable household. And I'm, you know, won't go into detail, does it? But yeah, um, so yeah, um, but that was the food parcel this week. I mean, a lot of the stuff from last week, you know, got eaten and was brilliant and it, it topped up and i think that's what these parcels are for as well it's to kind of top up stuff that you you know your basic essentials in in a, in a view that you will have a lot of other stuff in your cupboard and we have still got you know we've got a freezer half full i mean it's dwindling now because obviously we're not got a freezer shopping until next week <coughs> um but you know it, it's you know, for one person, no, definitely not enough. But again, it's only me that gets the parcel because I'm the extremely vulnerable, um, shielded person. So, um, but I'd say for one week for one person, you know, it's not that bad. Um, it's just, again, there's not much protein in there. There's no, you know, you get one tin of tuna. Um, but I can't be complaining because this is brilliant. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> so we've got pasta. We've got, uh, oh, that's excellent. There's some, and there's some nicer stuff this week as well, which is really, really good. Um, apart from... The fried lentils, cheese and onion pie. Um, I think that one. Yeah, mummy will probably like that. I know she does enjoy her pies. So, <clears throat> yeah. So that's our shielding parcel for this week. And that is me chatting about life being <clears throat> not that great. Um, <clears throat> and I do apologise if I'm coughing throughout this video as well. But um, again, as I mentioned at the start. Yeah, chest infection is not fun. But yeah, um. So at least it shows, though, that there is a bit of variation week by week on what you get in the parcels. I mean, and most of the stuff is so the same. So, you know, things like the you know, the oats and the bread and beans and stuff like that. And ridiculously giant goddamn onion. Why? I don't like onion. Um, but, you know, there is a... But it's, it's a lot of stuff that, you know, you've got... <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, there's at least some different... Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, jelly, 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 jelly. I don't know what to help with it, but... Yay. I did get a spoon included as well. Oh, awesome. That is going to be my lunch today. I'm going to have some jelly. <coughs> but, yeah. Um. So, yeah, so this has been a bit... Like I say, a bit of an unboxing, a bit of a heart-to-heart. -heart. Um, oh, I'm going to do more Lego videos. I had a couple of comments from people saying that really enjoyed me doing my Lego videos. So I'm going to do some more Lego videos this week as well, because um, I enjoyed that. And it's keeping me distracted, which is the main thing. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, I've waffled on for 20 minutes now. Um, 
And again, I'm not trying to make, say, make out that I'm any worse off than anybody else in this world. And, you know, um, you know, during this whole thing, um, this is just my point of view of how I'm coping, how I'm dealing with it. And yeah, um, you know, I don't want to come across uh, again as, you know, being worse off or better off than anybody else because there are people dying from this and, you know, it's it's a terrifying moment. And, you know, I also know that, oh my gosh, it's a wonky. Um, but the whole reason of being shielded is to pro prevent you from getting it because the reality of it is if I did get it, I would probably die. And that's a scary prospect. Um, and that fear of death. I mean, I had that last year when I was first diagnosed. Well, before I was diagnosed with bowel disease. And I had that two months where I was waiting for a diagnosis. And thought I had colon cancer and lost 30 odd kilos. And nearly died then. And that was a life changer for me. And then it was like, yeah, yeah, you're all healed. You know, you're in remission. And then this happens and it sucks. Um, but yeah, anyway. I'm going to shut up. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you're all safe. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, um, you know, let me know. But how are you coping? Are you shielded? Uh, you know, is your food parcel similar to this? Um, I don't know. I don't. They're, apparently, they're all the same, but I don't know. Um, you know, how are you coping during this time? Um, and you know, if any of you want to have a chat about stuff, um, you know, if you have bowel disease or stroke colitis, or you know, want to reach out to me, drop me a message on um, Facebook. Um, you know, it's. Um, Andy, Simon, I <coughs> know oh, Anders, but yeah, um, or follow me on Instagram on Anders the Viking on there, and you know, drop me a DM and let me know how you're getting on. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you will stay safe. Um, we're over the peak apparently, so we're on the downward trend. But yeah, that's the other thing as well. I don't think I'll be going back to work anytime soon either because I can't. <coughs> um, so, but I'm working from home, which is good. Um, yeah, so this is my lunch break. I've been teaching all morning. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next one. Toodles.